Welcome back. So we're still taking the punch. What's um, stories? Who's ready? Okay, so Taoma launches foundation to assist the poor. So popular skit maker and comedian Taoma, her real name is Miriam Apokagi. She had made, made known her plans to start up a foundation which would be to assist the poor in the society. And so she was made this known at a court visit to the senator representing Kwara Central Senatorial District, Sali Mustafa. And the question was raised, why Kwara State? And she said that was where she was giving birth to. Mm. It's like a way of giving, giving back, back to the land of her birth. And she ruled out the plans of the various programs that she has in place to get this done. And the senator in, in response was open to welcoming her in the state and had pledged his support towards um, her going ahead and okay. impacting the society. Mm. Amazing. Do we still have another story? Yes. Uh, so in Niger States, the Niger State Police Command has uh, arrested a 51-year-old woman, <coughs> Blessing Jeremiah, for stealing a three-year-old girl in Niger States and mm. attempting to transport her to a buyer who had paid her 530,000 naira. So the suspect was said to have stolen the child from her parents in the Tudun Nasira area of Mina and um, she was arrested while she was trying to take a luxurious uh, bus. But then the story did not tell us how uh, people around were able to tell that she was not the mother of the child. Mm. But when they found out, they called the police operatives and she said she was taking the child to Anambra to warn Mrs. Ejima at Inewi, Anambra State, who had already paid her a deposit of 230,000 naira, wow. and had promised to pay her the balance, balance for a human when being. she delivers uh, the baby. <laughs> However, the girl has now been reunited with her family. Thank God. And, uh, yeah, and all efforts are ongoing to apprehend the said Mrs. Ejima in Inewi. So sad, but there's a good news for those that are living in um, Enugu states. Port Harcourt to Enugu Expressway, which had collapsed, has one lane but isn't in use. Mm. They are now saying that this bridge mm. is going to be getting a repair within the next 10 days. Work starts on Friday. Mm. The governor mm. of Enugu state, Pitamba, and the very active minister for works, <laughs> David Umai, were both there to um, affirm and assure the citizens of en um, Enugu State and those that transverse between Enugu and Port Harcourt Expressway that the bridge, this is palliative work. Mm. Apparently, there's a supplementary budget. It's part of the budget that is covering the third mainland bridge repair that is also it's ongoing, ongoing yeah. as well as this particular bridge. They would be fixing that one lane, at least to provide um, mo um, ease, of ease of movement while long term, probably next year, there'll be a proper budget for full rehabilitation of the road. But we cannot deny that the uh, Minister for Works is working. is mm. up and about <coughs> everywhere in Nigeria. Yes, we're hoping everywhere gets touched within mm. this first few we're months of being in government. in government. Congratulations to <laughs> people of Enugu State. So let's move on now to Saturday Vanguard. Bonaboy bags four nominations. Yeah. Davido secures three. Anambra Soludo destroys dreaded shrine. Our people worship money, chief laments. We've re-engineered a dough for growth, Obaseke. Intrigues, fear as 52 men go to war. Diri, Uzodima, battle for survival. Bello fights to install successor in Kogi. How ethnicity may influence voters in Kogi. Should Nigeria adopt a single-term presidency? Enugu Appeal Court upholds Governor Umba's election. Untold reasons Governor Mufwang is under threat. What stories do we have in the vanguard? I have a story here. So the Anambra State government finally demolished the dreaded oh, okay. Ololo Eke Deity in Ekulobia, Agwata local government <laughs> area of the state, Apronasam as Ibu Ekulobia, <laughs> to make way for the construction of a flyover at the popular Ekulobia roundabout. So they said that the deity held significant reverence among the worshippers in the surrounding communities in Agwata. And you know, a lot of people feared that there might be consequences since the shrine is about to be demolished. And so as a matter of fact, um, a lot of other governors were not able to do this because of that fear, yeah. spiritual fear, so consequences, some things may happen. And so they avoid it, but then it causes a lot of traffic on that route. And um, they said the chief priest of Udo Ololo, Eke Okolobia, faulted the state government's decision to demolish it 
but also urge the government to, if they have to do so, must follow due process. And so, um, you know, he also mentioned that there are potential repercussions that might follow if uh, the, the, there's a forceful demolition of the deity. Uh, there was a viral video that went round showing the caterpillar drivers pouring libation in mm. front of the shrine <laughs> to appease the, <laughs> <laughs> the gods <laughs> before the demolition. Yeah. But the plan is to build a flyover that way to ease you know, traffic for the I'm people. Sure the and the government, be I'm telling you, and the government <laughs> is saying that this people. will benefit <laughs> the people more than just oh having God. that shrine. I also talked about how a lot of people are getting into idol worshipping in the state and they want to mm. find a way to, you know, curtail it, that this, that state is God's own state. Mm. So which of the gods, gods. now, we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Good news, though, on a lighter note from the music industry, our, our artists are making Nigeria proud. proud They're putting yeah. Nigeria on the map of mm. a global stage. <laughs> We have the 2024 Grammys and about three, no, four Nigerian artists got nomination. I'm talking Thames, Ashake, Arista, Olamide. These are new mm. nominations. Of course, wow. we have Bonner Boy and Davido. Six I'm telling Nigerian you. artists. These are people that were from, like, like they are from, they are our people here yes, <laughs> that are now doing big things. Sisters. Um, nominated for, um, for Grammys, talking global, not just, some, some were nominated for Best African, they were but we had global, global, global music. Global global music. Wow. So it is not, we're competing with other R&B songs yeah, before. Mm -hmm. in that same space. I'm really proud of all these artists. And I, I love, I don't know, who am I going to even campaign for? Like, <laughs> I know. Z, all of them. I'm going to just with some What's of What's that, Nigerian? Yes. You know, we'll but Boy for broke, you. It, broke the before. jinx. Yeah. 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 And they were hoping to see more. Um, Grammy Awards Congratulations. Good news from the entertainment world. <laughs> and so moving on to the health, health sector, um, this article says that taking 8,000 steps daily reduces risk of premature death. Wow. And so we noticed that a lot of people are used to the sedentary lifestyle mm. such that they enter their vehicles, go to the office, sit down, sit down. from office, go home, lie down, go home, lie down. <laughs> Maybe if they're cooking, say, there's even a table in the kitchen <laughs> and a you. chair where they're just relaxing. And so this article says that um, if we're able to take 8,000 steps a day, it will drastically reduce the mortality rate of individuals. And it says that 8,000 steps is equivalent to 6.4 kilometers. Mm. Right. Every, every, every day. day. Yes, and not just walking. It says a brisk walk. That means walking mm. fast. And the second thing is that the pace, the steps, the pace of your steps. So for men, it is 76 centimeters. And for women, it is 67 centimeters. So they cover so, more ground. Yes. Okay. So it has to be there. Mm. And so this article also says that there are no reports concerning the excessive number of steps having, having led to death. So, so continue, you can continue walking. walking just keep walking, <laughs> wow. right? That it has no disadvantage. So they cover no more steps. To the I, I used to but wonder how my husband walks faster than me, and I used to feel like I have longer legs than yeah, him. I think but then he walks yeah. faster, and I'm like, how does this happen? Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. Mm. Scientific, science, biological. Yes, science. Any other story? No, 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 okay, fine. so let's move on now to the Tribune, Saturday Tribune. Why we arrested husband of mommy calm down woman who committed suicide, please. Another Muslim cleric arrested with human heads, hands in a bado. Fear of violence as Kogi Imo Bayelsa elect governors today. Severe consequences are with thugs, NSA. We've deployed 40,000 men in Kogi, police. 18 candidates in Bayelsa alleged plots to buy votes. Court stops NLC TUC from going on strike. Strike starts midnight Tuesday, labor unions. Payment of four month salaries. No communication yet from the federal government, ASU. Appeal courts validate Enugu governor's election. It is victory for Enugu people, Governor Mba. What stories do we have in the Tribune? Mm. I don't know why I'm taking such stories today. <coughs> mm. uh, the, the headline says, uh, Why we arrested husband of mommy calm down woman who committed suicide. Yeah. And that's the police. So the, the police is saying that um, they arrested so the story went viral, I think, a few days ago, a few days ago mm. that the <clears throat> woman that was seen in the popular video, you know, scolding her son and the boy was telling the mommy to calm the mommy, mm. be coming down mm. and he was trying to negotiate his uh, way out of it. But then that, that was when they became a sensation and the calm down even became um, like a slang. Mm. But then it was so sad to hear mm. that um, she died wow. by, you know, hanging herself. But then the... 
police have now arrested the husband, and they're saying the reason they arrested him is because he did not report immediately to the oh. uh, police um, force. And he said he did it out of, he, he panicked because he had gone to the market, and then by the time he came back, he saw his wife um, hanging down from a rope. Yes. So mm. from there, he just took her to the hospital, you know, to check if they could still uh, revive her. And when she was confirmed dead, she, um, she was taken to the mortuary. And uh, the police are saying that he should have come to them first mm. instead of seeking um, self-help. Yeah. But according to um, a neighbor who spoke under anonymity, he, he said that he did not notice if they had any issues or whatever. Before? Yeah, that they were living happily together. The woman has her job, the man has his job. Help. And they've never mm. had so, issues. Yeah, so oh she, she was quite surprised that that kind of thing happened. So, fingers crossed. Mm. So, going forward, this means that mm -hmm. if there's a suicide case, mm -hmm. you go straight to the straight police. Straight to the police. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even before, before the hospital. hospital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The police needs to come and ascertain the... Would they have confirmed... And the, the would they have confirmed but I, 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 don't think, I don't think it's logical because you might not know what that singular act of just quickly taking them to the hospital can do. Maybe to resuscitate the person. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Right. yeah. at least it's try to, to resuscitate yeah, first, but then report. Yeah, but the police immediately as well. I don't know. Yeah. For maybe. investigation cases. Yeah. 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 Any so, other stories? Yes, I'm taking the story about the Ogoni cleanup. Mm -hmm. So we know the, Ogoni, the story about Ogoni land has been covered <coughs> from the international media and local media as well, that the oil spillage caused major ecological damage to the area it was first reported in 1958 mm -hmm. I was celebrating on this set a few years back the former pres vice president talking about how the cleanup will start till now they've not cleaned up mm -mm, it's not the way it's expected to go oh, wow. and so the Minister <laughs> for Environment Balarabi Lawal has gone to the place in the media pali had a conversation that the um, national environmental program is over 12 years with little progress but that now they are going to be working with the Ogoni people so that you're not just coming to help them. He said, um, we believe in planning with the people and not for the people. Mm -hmm. So the new strategy is to involve them in the cleanup because they've been living with the yes. effects of the pollution for so mm -hmm. long. They probably will know where is most effective for you mm -hmm. to deal with the issues. So I'm hoping that the people of Ogoni would finally get a proper and total cleanup of the entire area. And I, I hope we can restore the aquatic life, as in the place is really a, a mess. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we're hearing from the minist Minister for Environment. I'm still waiting to hear from Minister of Power. Sir, mm. what are you What's doing? Up? What is What's happening? going on? What Kilon Shele. Else is what talking. Is We've not heard from you. Kilon Shele, ah, gong gong. Exactly, because greed is still shutting down, sir. Mm, that's speak. true. Thank you so much, <laughs> ladies. Let's take a short break now. When we come back, we move on to our hot topics. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. <laughs> 